Ah, good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Hardcore Challenge Live. I am the Commish, and this is the official webcast of the Hardcore Challenge, which is, as you all know, the pinnacle of fantasy football competition. So, apologize. Had to uh, move the show to tonight as opposed to last night when we uh, regularly have it because my son had a track meet, so I did not get back here in time. So, and I have another show that I do. So I had to push it back to tonight. But we could not look past one of the biggest games of the week that we've had so far. Only because this game of the week means somebody's going home. Somebody's season is over. This is the straight up first elimination game of the season. Final week, these two teams' playoffs start right now. You have the six, five, and one Stinky Pinky, former champion, two thousand thirteen champion. 2011, 2013, 2014, and 2016 division champion. Led the league in scoring in 2014. He's currently lost two straight. Comes in with a division record of 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. Facing off against the 7-5. Holding a half game lead. The two game winning streak. One of our new owners. Brett Marsh. And the Bleeding Green. They are 3-2 and two in division. Stinky Pinky won the first matchup. Although that doesn't really matter because this isn't going to come down to a tiebreaker. There's only a half game separating them, so whoever wins this game takes the division and claims the last spot in the AFC coming into the playoffs, coming into the biggest field of owners we have ever had in the Hardcore Challenge playoffs. Twelve teams, six from the NFC, six from the AFC, fighting to face off in Hardcore Bowl 9. Which will be streamed live. We will be we will have live coverage that whole day. All the way through till till the hardcore bowl is decided. We'll have live coverage. Like to have all of the owners that I can on, either be a phone call, video, and then uh, we will obviously we'll clip it all together like we did last year for one one nice hype video and put it all together, wrap it up with a little bow, and call the season done. But let's get into the breakdown as the Wild West in the AFC is on the line. This week, Stinky Pinky gets bleeding green. Stinky Pinky comes in with a beat-up quarterback at Cam Newton. He's practicing and he's surely going to play at New Orleans this weekend because that is a huge, huge game. Although bleeding green has Phillip Rivers at home. Against the Browns. That is a good matchup for Bleeding Green. Rivers at home against the Browns. Phillip Rivers, as much as I hate his bolo tie wearing ass, he's the type of quarterback who can drop 400 yards on you at any given time. And that's just the truth. He, he puts up stats. He, this team isn't always going to win, but he puts up stats. Now, looking at the running back position, you got Latavius Murray and Howard for the Bears for Stinky Pinky against Darkwa for the Giants and Drake for Miami. I got to give the lean to Pinky at the running back position. Darkwa and Drake... 
You're rolling with the Giants running back and the Finns running back? Mmm. That's, that's not a good duo right there. I got to give the lean at running back to uh, Stinky Pinky. Now, wide receiver. He said Jarvis Landry, wide receiver for the Dolphins. And Cup, wide receiver for the Rams. Against Baldwin. Doug Baldwin for the Seahawks. And Cooks, Brandon Cooks for the Patriots. I see a little bit of an edge. Possibly at wide receiver for Bleeding Green with uh, Doug Baldwin and Brandon Cooks over Landry and Cup. The Dolphins are as as well as as good as wide receivers Landry is. He's he's doesn't have the benefit of of good quarterback play on his behalf. So I think he's going to suffer at that. They are playing Denver, which at home, which is a favorable matchup for them. So. But I'm giving the slight lean to Bleeding Green. At the tight end position, you have Ingram for the Giants against Hooper for the Falcons for Bleeding Green. Anybody for the Giants right now is a huge question mark. I wouldn't want to start anybody on that roster. They are a freaking hot mess. Setting Eli Manning. They have, they have officially given up. They've thrown in the towel. And they're just, let's see what the guy on the end of the bench can do now. Oh, he won't be in his lineup. Well, let's see. You gonna roll with Gore? Uh, Abdullah didn't practice. Unless he's got some sneaky waiver wire up his sleeve. <laughs> he's got Frank Gore. That's a tough. That's a tough defensive hoe for Gore at uh, Jacksonville. As as sorry as their um, quarterback play is, they do have a very solid defense. But. It can be interesting. I don't give him a strong advantage over you. I don't give him a strong advantage over you at running back. So it's just uh, Drake is kind of the same way. He's he's just on a bad offense. So if he can't sustain drives, he can't get yards. So they're a little bit at the mercy of of pathetic offenses. Sometimes though, they can, you can get that one guy on a bad offense that just has lights out score. Doesn't even matter if the team loses. You only care how that guy does statistically. And he may just be the one guy that has the breakout game. You, you never know. That's, that's why we play the games. But at tight end, I got to give the lead to Bleeding Green. At the flex, obviously, Antonio Brown, big lean at the flex against Crowder for the Redskins for Stinky Pinky. At the kickers, eh, they're kickers, man. It's a wash. You know, it's it's hard to pick a, a kicker. You look for matchups. You look for them not to be playing in, you know, rain or snow. You at least want them in decent conditions. You got uh, Zerline for Bleeding Green playing in Arizona. And Elliott at Seattle for the Philadelphia kicker for Stinky Pinky. Now, defense, you Stinky Pinky's going with the Bengals. At home against the Steelers. Bleeding Green has the Eagles at Seattle. The Bengals are going to get points put up on them. That's for sure. That may be a defensive switch he wants to move, make before Sunday. Because I see the Bengals getting a lot of points put up on them by Pittsburgh. But maybe he knows something I don't know. The Eagles defense at Seattle. Seattle's... They're not always going to put up a lot of points, so that may not be a bad play. I mean, the Eagles are obviously ripping off wins right now, so they've got the benefit of a very good offense on the other side of the ball, and that helps out their defense because that keeps the points down. So there's a possibility that could be a, a fairly decent start. Fairly decent start. Now let's look across the individual defensive players. And I gotta give a little bit of a lean. Donald, the defensive lineman for the Rams. Brown, linebacker for the Redskins. McCordy, defensive back for the Patriots. And Mosley at the flex, linebacker for Baltimore. I like Joey Bosa on Stinky Pinky's individual roster 
because of the matchup at Cle at home against Cleveland, because it's the freaking Browns, he could have a very big statistical game. Wagner, if he's healthy and playing to his full potential, could also have a big game. But I'm going to give a little bit of a lean at individual defensive players to Bleeding Green. Currently, NFL.com has Bleeding Green as the slight favorite. A little under 10 point favorite. Just over 9. I can't say I disagree with them. Bleeding Green has won two straight. Stinky Pinky is on a two game skid. I think Brett has his team hitting at the right time. And I think that continues this week as he wins his third straight, claims his first division crown in the Hardcore Challenge as he will head into the playoffs in his first season as division champion of the AFC Wild West. So my prediction... Is bleeding green wins the last regular season game of the week in week 13. So we will see if that prediction comes true or not. I'm sure uh, Ben, owner of Stinky Pinky, will have something to say to the contrary, but <laughs> we will wait. We will wait for his rebuttal. I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure it will be quick and swift. But I just don't think his team has shown in the last few weeks that they have the firepower down the stretch and Brett's team has seemed to be picking it up down the stretch and that's just how I see it shaking down and Stinky Pinky will not be a back-to-back -back division champion. That's how I see it. I will put up the polls in the divisions. And let's see if you see it the same way. Or not. Maybe you think Stinky Pinky will take the win. I don't think that's going to be the case. But we will see. So it is the last week of regular season in the Hardcore Challenge. The 2018-17 season is coming to a close. That means after this week, if you are eliminated, you are not allowed to use the waiver wire. Your season is done. If you want to play the consolation rounds for fun, by all means. But you're only playing it with the guys that are on your roster now. You are not allowed to pick up any waiver wire guys, so please don't. We will go back in and remove them and put everything back the way it was if you do anyway. If you want to play consolation, that's fine. That has no bearing on playoffs, draft position, anything. It's just for fun for you to have something to do. Your season's over. So... Like myself and a whole handful of others, we're done after this week. The 12 that are moving on, we will congratulate you come Tuesday. But until now, it's the final week. Are you ready for the challenge? Good luck. Game on.